Now, let's shift gears a bit and speak about something we haven't heard about in a while. Coronavac acquired full registration from SAPRA in June 2022 after the SA Health Products Regulatory Authority declared it uh, declared in early July 2021 that it had authorized emergency use of the product. A clinical trial phase for the inactivated Coronavac vaccine is now underway. To discuss this further, we are joined by Numolux Group COO Anton Anser. Thank you so much for your time. We do appreciate it. Uh, I think let's just start off with the fact that uh, our COVID-19 numbers are not as alarming as they were previously. People aren't really getting vaccinated anymore. Already there was an issue with uh, people going to get their COVID-19 vaccines. Why is this arriving in the country at this stage? Uh, good evening, Heidi, and uh, thank you very much for having me. So, yes, indeed, uh, it, it appears as though uh, CoronaVac is last year's news. Uh, but the reality is that uh, people are still suffering illness. Uh, and in fact, people are still dying because of COVID. And it would be a, a sad indictment if uh, we are not able to provide uh, a, a, a cure uh, for this virus. Yes, the numbers have decreased uh, or the numbers of incidents have decreased, uh, but we, we certainly within the Numerlux group and, and I'm sure so many other clinicians are of the view, uh, that this would become uh, very similar to how we treat uh, the annual flu. And in the same way as we, we do the necessary precautions at the, at the start of every winter, um, very soon we would see the same trend follow insofar as COVID-19 vaccinations are concerned. It's very important to have access to vaccines, uh, given what we saw on the African continent, especially during the peak of the COVID-19 pandemic. But I'm curious to know whether or not there is an actual demand for this vaccine. Are you seeing a demand? Is this what uh, prompted your uh, attempts to get this vaccine into the country? Well, uh, the, 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 the answer to that is manifold, uh, Heidi. A, the, insofar as the, the demand, uh, you will recall that a few months back there was the huge debate around the vaccine mandate and around, around making it mandatory. At that time, uh, the Numelux group was inundated with uh, requests for specifically an inactivated vaccine. Uh, and so the, the debate, while it really boiled down to be pro or anti-vaccine, there in fact were another group of people who were not comfortable using the vaccine that was brought in by uh, the Department of Health at the time uh, and were looking specifically for an inactivated vaccine such as the ones provided by Sinovac and Sinopharm. Um, and in fact, uh, to this day, uh, we still receive requests for uh, this inactivated vaccine, not only for adult use, but also for pediatric use, as, as parents have come to realize the benefit of using a tried and tested inactivated platform. Just one last point uh, in this regard. Uh, you will find that to this day, and it is a sad indictment on us as South Africa, that uh, people who have the wherewithal to actually travel do so. And so you will find to this day that people still fly to Zimbabwe uh, to get uh, CoronaVac uh, because uh, they prefer making use of an inactivated vaccine. So we are usually excited at the prospect of satisfying those requests um, and are looking to bring uh, this vaccine in, in, in larger numbers to satisfy the demand for an inactivated COVID vaccine to South Africa, certainly before the end of this year. It's interesting, though, that you say people are traveling uh, to get this vaccine. Mm. Uh, there's clearly a demand for it. Uh, you briefly touched on the plan to get it into, uh, obviously it is already in the country, but to get it to the general public. Maybe just give us those details, when it will be made available and how the public mm. can get their hands on this. Yes, so it, it, it might be prudent to just give some detail around uh, the, the consignment that we've just received uh, in, in, in the week past. Uh, so uh, you may be aware that we are still concluding uh, a, a pediatric trial uh, looking at the efficacy of, uh, of CoronaVac on, on uh, kids uh, from the age of six months to 17 years. And uh, it should be said uh, in parenthesis that uh, 
you know, much has been said about uh, the, the speed of, of bringing a vaccine to, uh, to approval. Um, this really is uh, a talks to the commitment that Sinovac and Numalux has made in the, the rigor and the robustness of, of uh, looking at the efficacy of, uh, of this vac vaccine uh, for specifically pediatric use. So um, in short, this consignment um, will be used largely for those participants who have uh, been party who have been party to uh, this pediatric trial, um, a further uh, point to be mentioned here is that uh, this is a double-blinded, placebo-based uh, study. Um, at this point in the study, those who have received the placebo uh, now will have the benefit of actually being vaccinated with coronavac. So, um, as a as a vote of confidence but also a vote of thanks to those who had participated in the trial. We are making this vaccine available to those kids who have participated. Insofar as uh, access for, for the rest of the South African populace who are looking for a vaccine, uh, it might be useful to note that when we obtained uh, full approval from SAPRA, uh, one of the conditions that, was, uh, that were placed was that it still formed part of the Department of Health's uh, rollout plan. Uh, for what it's worth, uh, we are aware that uh, the Sinopharm vaccine uh, has been given the green light for uh, uh, approval to for commercial use, uh, and uh, we are following suit. Already our conversations have taken place with uh, pharmaceutical groups as well as uh, with various medical aids. So we are putting the necessary in place now to get the necessary paperwork in order for us to bring um, Coronavac to South Africa, certainly before the, uh, before the year is out. Thank you. Okay, you have a, a month to go, a month and a bit to go. So <laughs> time is yeah. not really on your side, but we wish you all the best. And thank you so much for uh, sharing that very important information with us. That was Numalux Group COO, Anton Ardenser.